Hey Falcons, this is Mr. Hernandez, your College Career Specialist. This video is to give you guys some individual instructions on how to apply for dual credit classes at Jersey Village High School. I've already gone through several of the steps to do group applications and group testings and things like that. So this information is for students that maybe missed out or weren't able to attend for whatever reason and you still want to have the chance to do dual credit. Um, you do still have the chance to do dual credit um, even though we have about, about a month left of school uh, to go. But um, you'll need to complete all of these steps on your own and then meet with me uh, towards the end. And I wanted to give some information out that way when I have students coming to see me, this will be an easy way for you guys to access that information. So really quick, the process uh, looks like this. Um, you get yourself a Lone Star ID number from doing the application. Uh, you make sure that you meet testing standards based on whatever classes you want to take. Um, complete a registration form for Lone Star College. Turn that in to me. Um, sign up for the Dual Credit Remind. Uh, group so that you can get relevant information on dual credit as I send that out and then make sure and pay for your classes before we come back in the fall. So on the Lone Star application the best thing to do is to email me um, your name, your uh, Cypher ID number and just let me know that you um, need to do the Lone Star application for dual credit. I'll send you um, a few documents um, so that you can look at uh, any information you might need. So um, the first thing I'll send is going to be the instructions to do the application online. It'll have the link, it'll tell you step by step what you have to do, and it'll walk you through the whole process. So just make sure and send me an email um, at eric.hernandez3 at cfisd to get that info. Once you complete your, your application at the very end, you're going to get your username for Lone Star and your uh, Lone Star ID number. It's really important that you um, write this down, take a picture of it, and save it because you'll need to use this every time you do something with Lone Star. Um, if you need testing, and you'll find out in a little while if you need testing, I'll send you a document to, so you can see if you need testing or not. Um, you're going to have to take the pre-assessment activity through your Lone Star account before you can take any TSI test with Lone Star. Um, if you meet requirements for the classes you want through some kind of other testing, like Aspire, ACT, or SAT, then you might not need to take the TSI and you might not have to do the pre-assessment. So you'll have to do a little figuring out on the test scores if you need to do that or not. So on testing eligibility, um, I'm going to send you a document in the email when you ask me that you're interested in dual credit. Um, it'll be a couple, several pages uh, document long that uh, will tell you what kind of testing that you need for each class that you're looking to get into. Um, <clears throat> so um, if you do need to take that test, again, through your Lone Star account, you need to complete something called the pre-assessment activity or the PAA. It's a non-graded um, multiple choice quiz that's designed to show you how to use online testing for Lone Star. It's reading, writing, and math. Um, it's basically a requirement that you have to do before you can actually do the TSI test. So that's something you'll have to do on your own on your own time at home before you can do uh, the TSI testing. Once you complete the pre-assessment activity, if you need to test, come and see me in my office. I'll get you a testing referral and then you'll have to take the, t the TSI test at Lone Star College. I don't have any more testing dates here at school. Um, we're getting close to, to May. We have testing going on. The library's going to be closed. Things are booked pretty much uh, for the rest of the year. Plus, Lone Star isn't able to come out here anymore for the rest of the year. So you can definitely go and get your testing done at Lone Star College. Taking the TSI test for, uh, for the first time will be free. The testing fee is waived. So um, at least you don't have to worry about that cost. If you have to retest, you'll have to get another form from me, and then you'll have to pay for the, that, that test. Uh, each section is $10 a piece. There's reading, writing, and math. Um, all testing needs to be completed before May 19th. Uh, that'll give you the best possible chance to get your testing completed and have time to get the registration paperwork done and turned into me. Um, once you know that you meet uh, the scores for the, the appropriate courses, come and see me. I'll get you a purple registration sheet for Lone Star College. Uh, once you do that, it requires a parent signature, some student information. Um, after you turn that in to me, make sure that you go back to your counselor and change your courses to match what you put on the dual credit registration form. Um, it makes things a little easier for us to schedule things for the fall. Um, but if you put on that you, meet, you want dual credit and it's not on your counselor course request, um, we will change that over the summer and into the fall. So it will get corrected, but it'll be a lot easier for you and us if you get that done before you leave school. And the last thing we have here is uh, payments. So, Whenever the student picks up their purple registration form from me, um, I will actually uh, have them sign up for a dual credit remind group for next year. Um, I use that remind group to send out relevant information about um, drop dates, 
um, payment information and just various things like that. And so one thing I'll do is in the summertime, um, Lone Star College will let me know when they're done processing all the paperwork. Um, if you try to pay for your dual credit classes as soon as we leave school, um, you probably won't see a balance because they probably won't get around to putting your classes in until mid-June, maybe the beginning in July. So uh, really if you go online, you might not see your courses until mid-summer. Um, and then it takes them a while to process the, uh, the dual credit waivers to make your, uh, your, your tuition lower than the regular college student. So there might be a period of time in the summer where you might have a, a regular balance of two to four hundred dollars depending on your classes, but that will go down um, after they put those waivers in. And so after they put the waivers in, that's when I'll notify students, hey, now's the time to pay, and I'll actually send you guys documents um, with visual instructions on how to make your payment so that it's easy for you guys to understand. Uh, just make sure that you can log into your account. That's the number one thing that you need to be able to do uh, before you leave school for the summer. If you guys have any questions, send me a, an email. Uh, it's eric.hernandez3 at CFISD, and I'll me definitely make sure to help you out uh, as much as I can. Um, I am pretty busy for the rest of the year working with um, 10th and 11th grade students that have been going through the dual credit process. Um, so just be patient when you're trying to get in contact with me. I will get back to you. Um, just know that I'm working with large groups of people, and you guys are kind of the individuals that I'm trying to help out. Um, so it's dependent on you uh, communicating with me and being patient so I can get around to helping you guys. So. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I uh, hope everything works out, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.